How's it going everybody? Josh, StartingRainGutterBusiness.com. If you have water leaking behind your gutters, can't figure out how to fix it, today we're going to show you our solution. So there's a couple different scenarios where that water can get from the roof to behind the gutter and it's a really bad problem because it can rot out your, your fascia, your soffit. If that water is going behind the gutter it can leach in, I mean it can go down your wall depending on how your building is built. So you're definitely going to want to get it fixed as soon as possible. So I'm going to show you a couple things to look for up here. <clears throat> um, this particular gutter, this roof is a little bit slanted and so this gutter ended up below the drip edge at the end where the downspout's at. So um, if this drip edge were installed like normal, and I'm going to simulate that with this screw, so that drip edge is nice and tight on the fascia there. So what happens, especially with low pitched roofs, it's called capillary action. So this water will, will drain down the roof and it'll actually run backwards up the drip edge and then down, just drain down your fascia. So we're gonna kind of simulate that. I mean, a lot of it's going into the gutter, but you can see how that water's just sucking straight back down the drip edge. And so that's making a leak behind the gutter. So there's a couple ways that water can get behind that gutter. So if you can kind of see, I just had that water dumping on here. And so if you can see that water is like bubbling in between the drip edge and the shingles. And so if these shingles aren't stuck down good to that drip edge, the water will work its way back behind where that drip edge stops under the roofing and then work its way under the drip edge. So that's one thing to check is see how, make sure your shingles are tarred down or you know stuck down to the drip edge. Um, one way to fix that is to, you can slide a, like a piece of drip edge material from the hardware store or if you have like some metal flashing laying around, you can slide a piece of metal flashing up in there and you'll, you'll want that continuous where you're having the issues. Slide it up in between the, the drip edge and the shingles and <clears throat> if we're having a really bad problem, a lot of times what I'll do is put a little coat of sealant on the one edge of it, then slide it in so it glues itself into there. And that way that stops that water from working back up your roof edge. Um, another thing we can do, is this screw was just used to kind of dramatize this situation. But another thing you can do is take a piece of flashing, you know, um, this will be hidden so it doesn't really matter what color it is. Slide it behind there and this is kind of what we call like a drip edge extension or just some flashing. So you'll put flashing up, make sure it's under that drip edge good and then you can screw it then that drip edge can be still be tight, but you have a transition flashing diverting that water from the drip edge straight into the gutter. So now, just with that little piece of flashing in, that solves all of our problems. So now, even if that water does go all the way back to that drip edge, that tight screw, there's no water that's gonna leak through there because the water's draining down the flashing. Okay, so a couple more things we wanted to touch on on this video. So a lot of homeowners out there have these plastic gutters put up. Uh, to me as a rain gutter guy, these look pretty hideous, but if they're already up and you want to use them, you know, a lot of times the handyman guy will come put these on, they'll screw these right on top of the drip edge, or even if they are under the drip edge, they won't bend this drip edge out to kick into there. So what happens is these actually have a gap to where the gutter sits right on the inside here. So these leave, a quarter inch gap between the fascia and the back of the gutter. So that just gives a you know really big margin of error for water to go through that gap. So um, one good way that we found to solve that is to make a Z flashing. And um, we, I mean, we also use this Z flashing for fancier gutter systems. So like if you have a big uh, copper gutter with brass hangers, like a saddle hanger, you know, those hold off the fascia half an inch sometimes. So what we'll do is we'll build a Z flashing and that tucks up uh, on top of the drip edge between the shakes and the drip edge. Comes down like that and down and then kind of kicks out into the, into the gutter. So that way you're getting this water, keeping it off the drip at the original drip edge, 
and you're dumping this water down the Z-flashing and right into the center of the gutter. So that solves a lot of issues, is just getting that, having a piece of Z-flashing made and tucking it under the shingles, making sure that water is just dropping into the center of the gutter. So um, those are all the problems that we've found with water leaking behind the gutter. Um, as long as your roof's in good shape, the problem can be solved. So hopefully this helped you guys solve some of your issues out there. Um, I mean, every building and roof, and they're all built differently. So there's, there's a few different issues that can arise with this whole idea of getting water from the roof into the gutter, but um, kind of what we've showed you today solves a lot of them. So hope you guys enjoyed watching this. Uh, this summer, we're gonna have a lot of good videos coming out for you guys. So stay tuned for those. Like, subscribe, comment. See you on the next one. How's it going, everyone?